Before we talk about the match, I want to talk about this new agreement that the league uh, has now uh, worked with with ESPN and ESPN Plus and uh, just how this will benefit the landscape of the league and the team as a whole. Yeah, well, no question. It, you're a much higher profile being on ESPN along with other uh, top sports, one of them being MLS. So that's going to be a, a big benefit for the, for the brand awareness and the profile of the league. And it's in line with, with the, uh, the strategy of the league over the last couple of years. So quality content being dispersed on, on top level plat platforms nationally and also internationally. So it's a great move. You talked briefly about the possible well, weather situation in the area for Saturday's match with New York. Is there a uh, contingency plan if for some reason, you know, whatever snow may come down could uh, limit the vision of the guys and things no, of that nature? The weather <laughs> looks near perfect for <laughs> a highly entertaining game. It doesn't look like it's going to snow. It's going to be a lot of rain, there's no question. Mm -hmm. um, doesn't look like it's going to be as cold as uh, anticipated. Um, there's going to be a lot of rain uh, the night before. Mm -hmm. We know City Stadium is one of the best fields in the country for for draining. Mm -hmm. So honestly, if you're brave enough and you want to get out there, I'm telling you right now, I guarantee it, it is going to be one hell of an entertaining game. Um, with the way Red Bulls come out and press, with the way we want to do that, um, with the speed of the surface, with the slickness of the water on the field, um, it might be a rain fest, but I'm hoping it also will be an absolute golf fest. So please come out because it will be sheer entertainment. Now you're pre you're preparing for this match. You know, basically it's sunny, it's windy, but there's no inclement weather as you're practicing today. How do you prepare for the possibility of really bad weather Saturday on a day where it's pretty it's pretty clean? Yeah, I mean this is this is Richmond. Right? <laughs> Like we've got beautiful sunshine, now the wind picks up and tomorrow it's going to be um, most likely raining. Um, you can't. Mm -hmm. So we're going to continue on our game plan. We know the conditions, we've got to make sure the footwear is correct. That's going to be a crucial part because it will be very, very slick out there. A lot of times the guys haven't played um, on that type of surface mm -hmm. at City Stadium, so that's going to be crucial for us. Um, and yeah, it's going to cause a lot of errors, it's going to cause a lot of mishaps and that always, always leads to a very entertaining match. Now we touched briefly last week after you got your first win against North Carolina FC, the play of your goalie at the very end in stoppage time. And uh, we touched on how that can maybe carry over uh, into a game against New York this weekend. Um, will that be something you will address to the team today about how you guys played in the second half and especially that play at stoppage time? Again, if, you, if you're going to win things, you've got to have top class goalies. We're fortunate, like I said, to have two. Um, Travis came up with one exceptional play at the end. You know, also give credit to Yombi to stay close to the forward all the way and just off balance him enough to not get a clean strike. So that was a big part. Um, on the flip side, we really didn't allow them any quality chances outside of that in the second half. So that was pleasing. But when you're leading with uh, <laughs> less than 30 seconds to go, you've got to make sure you can shut up sharp. So it's something we need to to focus on as we go as we go forward. It seemed like the play has gotten better as the season has gone on. Up and down in Bethlehem, even though you didn't score the first home match, you, you played solid and then this last home match against FC, you know, you came out. Yeah, no, I think it was just down on the first yeah. game. There's no ops. Um, it was just a poor <laughs> performance all around. Um, and like you said, the last two games have been very, very good, encouraging performances against two two quality organizations with teams with a lot of MLS experience and a lot of a lot of talent. So we've more than held our own. Could be a little bit disappointed we haven't got more than three points. Mm -hmm. um, and another massive challenge against Red Bulls Saturday evening. How different or how yeah, how different is this Red Bulls team this year as opposed to the ones you faced a year ago? Um, from the personnel it changes over quite a lot as as their players either turn professional with the first team or move on. Uh, there's a lot of young players, so there's a lot of high energy. They still play a very um, strong pressing game, counter-pressing game, a lot of energy, a lot of quality with their, their front four. So they're very dangerous. They have a lot of uh, strengths, but they also have a couple of weaknesses that we need to expose, and if we do that, then we're going to have a great chance. I'm good, Lee. Wonderful. Thank you, man. Thank you. Thank you.